Alright guys, I am back. Now at the end of last episode, we were wrecking heckin' house with our Apex and Dominus Rex, but uh, I, I did also get some comments from you guys saying whenever I restart the game, like his stats will be reset. They won't like carry over or anything like that. So I actually restarted the game and uh, let's, let's see whether or not his stats have reset. Yeah, it seems like they're still reset from whenever they hit like the 256 or whatever right there, but I am curious if we're still doing that 2.5 or something million Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, so that is confirmed. We're doing way less damage now. <laughs> way less is like half a million damage still though, but <laughs> yeah, we were doing like 2.5 million or something like that beforehand. So yeah, definitely do want to stop at like what, 255 or something like that. So thankfully I did make a backup save of my game right before uh, going past that 255 right there. So let me just pause real quick, like a minute in this second episode, uh, reload that save real quick. And I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Let's make sure we don't go over that 255 slash 256 number, whichever one it is. So I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, guys, I'm back again. We're we're still doing 2.1 million damage now. That's good. Now let's just kill everything and anything and everything around here. A million damage right there, though. That's kind of weird. I don't know what that was from. Ooh, 410 damage right there. Ooh, is it from what? What is that thing? Alpha defense unit. Yeah, let's see how much damage we take from it. 410. Let's see. 612. Was that? Hold on. What hit me right there? Is it this thing hitting me? Because I want to see it. Yeah, look at that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. See all the 612s and 410s were taken right there. It adds up. I don't think I did anything to it right there. I think it just died randomly. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it was in my presence and just died right there. <laughs> it was just like, yeah, I'm not even going to try it. I guess I'll grab all that stuff right there. But yeah, we're, we're taking significantly less damage now. That's great. But it, it, that was only an alpha. Oh, whoops. I did not mean to roar with this guy, but I guess we can take a good look at it. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, we have minions, too. Hold on. Which button is that? Oh, 990 damage right there. Hold on. Which button is it? Should be this one, right? Yeah, this should summon in our Apex Raptors. Yep, there it is right there. Apex Raptor right there. 5,000 damage per hit. They have 100,000. Oh, man. 130,000 uh, health. Oh, man. What is that? Fabled Echis. Right, I, I think I'm going to keep that alive. Let's do it. Anyways, uh, uh, what do you call that? Dem Demonic Ovis right there. Let's see if we can kill that thing, though, with our little minions. Taking 100,000 damage per hit. All my minions just went down right there. Oh, my gosh. Wait, one of them's still alive, though. Hold on. How much health is that? Uh, Demonic, uh, Demonic Ovis. Only took, like, 200,000 damage right there. Oh, my gosh. Well, there we go. We just killed it, like, instantly. <laughs> just, like, two or three hits right there in a second dead already. Golly. But, yeah, I guess we're going to have to, to put up with us. Pfft. Only doing 2 million damage per hit right now. Ugh. So I guess we have to put up with that. But yeah, I, I don't know what we're going to set those uh, those 52 or however many level ups to, you guys. Yeah, 52 right there because we're maxed out right there. Health is good. I'm like, I did put that at, yeah, 3 million or something like that beforehand. Uh, carry weight's really, really good. Stamina, don't need to touch that. Oxygen, don't need to touch that. Food, don't need to touch that. Movement speed's probably the only thing I'd consider. And was that 2% at a time? No, 1.2%. Golly. I guess if we do that a little bit, get that up to like a little better than what it is right now. Either that or just get a bunch of health. Yeah, I'll probably end up just getting a bunch of health. I'm like, we did almost 10% right there, 9.6%. We're at 3 million health right now. We can't do any more melee. Actually, yeah, hold on. How much? How many health upgrades did we do? Oh, we've only done 10 upgrades right now. Okay, yeah, forget that. Let's just spam them all on health right now, you guys. Oh my gosh. How much health are we going to have? 9 million. If I didn't do those mo uh, movement speeds right there, I probably could hit heckin' 10 million. And we've we've gained so much health that the game is like putting like a, a red effect on the screen right now to show that we're low health. <laughs> Even though we have 200, 2 million out of 9 million health. Now if I take one of these things, the healing stews, there's like a million right there. Or like 500,000. Yeah, every time I'm taking one of these, it's like heckin' 500,000 health. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, because 5%. Yeah, because we have almost... Uh, 10 million health. So 5% of 10 million, 500 heck of thousand. Oh my gosh. Nine mi- Do you guys- Oh my gosh, where is it? The, uh, where's it- What is it called? Origin Rex? Do you guys think I could take that thing on? Because we have 10 million health. I think I had like 500, almost 600 million health. And I was like, oh man, half a billion health. Oh, there it is. Oh my gosh, I just want to see how much death. Hold on, are there any apexes around here though? Because I want to kill Apexes, I want to get more Apex hide, I want to at least maybe even upgrade the saddle before I even take on that Origin Rex. Now what are those guys again? Alphas? Oh man, there's two sets of, uh, Alpha Indominus. 
Wait. Oh yeah, Apex Dodo Rex. Yeah, 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 I remember talking about that guy and being like, oh man, Apex Dodo Rex. But yeah, oh, killed that guy instantly, one-hitted. And what about the Apex Dodo Rex? Oh man, 6 million health. We just took 189,000 damage from it. 122,000 damage, 41,000. Oh, 41,000 damage per hit from the uh, Origin Rex right now. Oh my gosh. We're taking substantial damage right there, but... If we, if we had our upgraded saddle, we'd probably be taking even less. Oh my gosh. Should I even try it? Should I even try? How much health does he have? I don't know how much he has. Oh, he's lost 20 million, so we've hit him like, what, 10 times, basically. We're doing too... <sighs> We're only taking 41,000 damage per hit, you guys. Only. Oh, well, 100... Wait, we're doing... We're taking 122 there. But 41,000 here. I don't know how... Why we're doing so much... Or taking so much damage and then... Taking even more damage sometimes. Huh. Interesting. But he's down almost 80 million health right now. I could probably just keep spamming this. I do have... The panacea is in my inventory. Why am I even... Yeah, I don't know why I'm moving backwards right now, you guys. What are those over there? <laughs> Look at me being distracted by everything that's not the Tekken Origin Rex right now, you guys. Oh my gosh. But yeah, we're we're down to almost like, what, the two-thirds health right now or something like that? Am I trapped? Okay, there, there we go. Well, I'm not trapped right now. That's good. And what about over here, though? I saw some sort of Dodorex. A lot of fabled... What do you call these down here, though? Holy heck. Oh yeah, the Dodorex must have fallen down there, huh? Yeah, I don't know what that Dodorex is down there. Apex or what? And I don't want to fall down there because this guy is so huge. I don't know if I can get out of there. What's this thing? Corrupted heckin' alpha uh, track right there. Yeah, forget you. And what is that Dota Rex? I can't. It's not picking up on my uh, thing. We have the Origin Rex back. He's got forge. Oh man, he's not. He's basically not regening at all. We've regened a decent amount. He's basically not regened at all, you guys. Huh? Hold on. No, oh, not I was about to say, like, I wonder, can we even tame this guy or something like that? But yeah, it says not tameable. But I wonder if, similar to the other things, like the Dodorex, if we want to tame that thing, we have to take it, like, what, to 10% health or something like that, and then it gains a torpidity bar? I wonder if it's the same thing for the Origin Rex, or if it's just so hard-hitting and crazy <laughs> that it's not even going to have a torpidity bar once it hits 10% health. He's just, like, straight up not tameable at all. I can't even see what's going on right now. First person is <laughs> not even, like, good either. Can't even see what's going on with that either. Man, what in the world? Is that what's doing damage? No, that's just a, uh, what do you call it over there? Yeah, a Velanosaur. That's just Velanosaur. Nothing too crazy over there. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting hit by, like, poop and stuff right now, too. Oh, what is that effect right there, though? Oh, poop hit. Yeah, you feel really sick. Oh, yeah, Rider imprinted, uh, 100% damage and 30%. What does that say on top, right? 100% damage, 30% resistance. Oh, wait. Imprinted 100%. Damage plus 30% and resistance plus 30%. Yeah. So, yeah, you, you deal more damage and you take less damage, like I said before, with the imprinting meme. But, yeah, I guess we can take a Panacea right now. He's almost at half health. He's at, like, two-thirds health right now. I was really thinking, like, yeah, let's go kill some Apexes. I killed that Apex Dodorex. I don't know if I got an Apex hide from her or whatever. Oh, what is that effect right there? Oh, yeah, lesser antidote. I'm immune to, uh, contracting lesser diseases. I don't know. If that means, like, uh, hecking poop hits and stuff like that <laughs> don't matter anymore, <laughs> hopefully. But yeah, he's down to, like, half health right now. Half health would be, like, what? 270 million health or something like that, right? Or not 270 million. 290 million health. We've, oh my gosh, we've passed it now. Holy heck. All right, guys, I am thinking about just... <laughs> just continuing to, uh, to, to, to spam here, continue to do damage. As you can see, we're, we're not even taking, like, significant amounts of damage. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, significant 122,000 damage per hit, and, like, 41,000 damage per hit. Yeah, that's significant. But, like, it's nothing whenever we could heal it all up instantly with those fantasies on my hotbar, right? So, <laughs> let me let me just keep on spamming these hits on him, and I'll uh, see you guys here in a bit once he's almost, like, dead. And then we can celebrate by killing an Origin Rex. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be crazy. Literally, like, two episodes ago, I was, like, freaking out, like, oh my gosh, run away, we're about to die, we took, like, 100,000 damage. And then now, we're, we're just soaking up 100,000 hits. 41,000 damage hits. <laughs> and we're dealing 2 million damage per hit. You know, 2.1 million, uh, 1.7 million. It's, it's just crazy right now, you guys. Oh my gosh. And he's, he's under 200 million uh, health right now, too. So <laughs> it's not going to be too much longer until he's dead. So let me just pause real quick. And I'll see you guys here in a bit where hopefully this Origin Rex is about to die. All right, guys, I am back. He's under 50 million health. I thought, you know what, let's, let's come back when he's at 50 million health. Because he's not going to last too much longer after that, right? And I kind of wanted to spawn in my minions just to, just to see what they even do. So let me spawn them in real quick. 
There's the Origin Rex right there. My minions are spawning around me right now. Let me command them to attack the Origin Rex. Let's see how much damage I even do. Oh, they just died instantly. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> I thought maybe they'd get like one hit out. But I don't even think they're getting a single hit out. He's almost dead. He's at 9 million, 7.2, 5.5, 3.7, 2 million, and he is down. The Origin Rex has been defeated. And we still have one Raptor minion. Oh my gosh. Well, we just learned a bunch of tech rooms right there. Even though, like, wait, hold on. What what all did we even unlock right there? Oh, man. Oh, yeah, that's just the uh, lesser antidote thing right there. But yeah, tech rooms. Uh, oh, oh, man. Every time I see that. Oh, he got killed by a corrupted Apex. Oh, Kal Apex, Kalikatherium. Ooh, let's kill it. Are we going to get Apex Hide? Yep, we got Apex Hide right there. 43 right there. Nice. All right, let's look at our tank tech rooms again. Like I wanted to right there. Yeah, tech sword. Yeah, dedicated storage. What is that? I don't think I've seen that before. Holds a large amount as a single resource, so I guess it's one step above the vaults then, huh? I saw this get uh, unlocked as well. The vacuum compartment moon pool. I think that's for the underwater base meme, right? Yeah, a place underwater power with a tech generator, and you can live and breathe in it. Yeah, we saw that on the center, I think, right? Where there's like a, a an area underwater, and it's it it's like a cave or something like that, I think. Or something I don't remember for sure but it, you can like build a base down there and it's like dry <laughs> it's kind of crazy you guys have to go watch that series a uh, vacuum compartment and there's a vacuum compartment moon pool so I don't know what the uh, regular one does tech teleporter we got that one allows instantaneous traversal between teleporters ooh that's cool requires tech generator to power an element and uh, tech engram to use I think it's pretty cool I don't think I've uh, ever used one of those things before, so that'd be pretty awesome if we could build one of those and just kind of travel around the map instead. <gasps> oh, wait, no, that's the tech force field. I was about to say, we oh, yeah, the tech transmitter. That's the thing that tells you the location of creatures, I think. And this is the tech force field. Generates an impenetrable, expandable spherical shield to keep out enemies. I guess if we could put one of those up at our base, right? <laughs> Requires an element to run, tech anchor to use. I like if I... If I expand my base out, this might make sense to just like, I don't know, maybe knock down the walls and just place down one of these. And that would be our next base expansion. Maybe. Create an impenetrable, expandable spherical shield to keep out enemies. Requires element to run, tech anchor room to use. Yeah, so it says enemies. I wonder what that'd be for like, you know, trikes and stuff like that that are like neutral. I guess they'd be enemies then. I guess anything that's not tame to me is technically an enemy, right? Uh, tech replicator, of course, we already have that. I don't know why we don't have that. Oh, yeah, I don't know why I can't unlock that. Can't unlock. I can't unlock anything here for some reason, but if you go to, uh, let's go here. Oh, wait, uh, there you go. And then let's go to S plus tech. There you go. S plus tech stuff. Yeah, S plus tech rep, uh, replicator right there. Tech leash. Now, what about the, there's the shield generator. Yeah, we can get that thing if I want it. So there we go. Uh, oh, S plus tech generator. So we can get that now. No, we can't. Yeah, because I don't have the regular tech generator uh, tech room just yet, so that sucks. Tech light. That might be pretty interesting. And tech ATV. Can't get that thing. Uh, let's look around here and see if there's anything else worth... Uh... Oh, tech cooking pot. Can make advanced recipes, kibbles, and beer. Produces twice the output of each recipe. Ooh! And we need eight S-plus industrial cookers to make this? What? <laughs> uh, S-plus tech forge? King Titan trophy alpha. That's kind of random. And 64 S plus industrial forges to make this. Instantly smells metal into ingots. Oh my gosh. Now, if there's anything that's going to be better than that could flag your anklo, it'd be this. Oh my gosh. Instantly smelts things. <laughs> Organic polymer into polymer and condensed gas into gas ball. So that's all instantly. Oh my gosh. Uh, S plus tech stove. King Titan trophy for some reason. Uh, and 16 S plus industrial grills. Cooks meat instantly and can make jerky. That's cool. Uh, tech bridge. I don't know if I'd want that though, but. What about the fridge? Can fill water containers and reset spoil timers of items placed inside. Ooh. That's interesting. Although I don't think I need that, honestly. So, out of everything we can unlock here. What about that uh, tech transmitter or whatever? Is that even on this list? Uh, let's look at uh, transmitter. I suppose 10. Yeah, I can't unlock that yet. Yeah, because it needs the tech transmitter tech room to be unlocked first. All right, let's get out of the uh, gamma thing right there. And what is this thing right here? Oh, a gallon of Ibisite Kibble. Don't mind if I can take that. I don't know why I just killed that guy right there. I said that like, oh, God. Yeah, I don't think I ever set that guy to passive mode. So there we go. Going to grab that now. Oh, man, he's roaring at stuff right now. Are you summoning in minions? 
If he's summoning in minions, I don't see him. What's that guy? Apex Alpha? He looks Alpha. A oh, he's a Apex. It I thought Apex was were slightly darker red than uh, this vibrant red for the Alphas I'm used to. But yeah, let's just kill some Apexes over here, you guys. I forget how much Apex hide we were missing. Alpha hide right there, not bad. I guess those were both Alphas. But yeah, I, I forget how much Apex hide we were missing to upgrade this guy's saddle. So we, we might actually have enough by now, you guys. I know, let's kill that Alpha Defense Unit. Now, after killing that Origin Rex... Oh, yeah, what do we even get from the Origin Rex? I wasn't even looking. Holy heck. Whoa. Origin... Oh, my gosh. Origin Blood. What is this thing? Origin Rex Tribute. A token dropped by the Origin Rex to prove your worth. Oh, my gosh. And we got some Armor Origin Soul. Blueprint for a Mastercraft Primal Compound Bow with 39,000 metal ingots to craft it. Oh, my gosh. What's that called again? Yeah, Mastercraft. And this is a uh, journeyman origin flak leggings, 7,500 armor rating. And what is our current armor? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Ours is only like 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. <laughs> this is 7,500 and it's only journeyman. This is journeyman too, right? Yeah, it's journeyman too. And this is mastercraft. <gasps> 10,000 armor rating for that. Oh my gosh. You guys, I didn't think we would ever come across something that can like outclass the armor that did we make this armor i think we did didn't we yeah i don't think we'd come across something to outclass this armor that we made holy heck mastercraft chess piece right there Ten thousand. we're currently at fourteen thousand five hundred twenty one armor rate right now with everything over here combined if we put this thing on that would basically <laughs> almost double it right there oh my gosh and if we put this on it's going to it's basically going to double it so if we put these on 27,000 armor rating, and that's just by replacing two articles of clothing. Holy heck. Now, can I even craft those, or are they only rare drops? Origin... Yeah, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! So I could actually summon these guys in, so if I wanted another Origin Rex, so we must have been really lucky when that Origin Rex randomly spawned in, when that Origin RG randomly spawned in all those episodes ago, and of course I <laughs> avoided it like the plague, but if we want another Origin Rex to summon in... We can probably do it, you guys. 20 Alpha Blood, 20 Apex Blood, 28 Fabled Blood. But we do need an artifact, similar to the uh, to Dota Rex and all that kind of stuff. You know, bosses for the boss tributes. Primal Blood, I think we have 20 of that. Toxic Blood, we've got literal thousands. So we might want to look into these. Oh, an Origin Dire Bear? What about the Origin Raptor? Origin Wyvern might be the next. <laughs> Origin. <laughs> that's, a, that's a penguin, if you guys don't know what the Kairuku is. We can summon in a heckin' Origin Penguin. What? And there's the Origin RG. Of course, these guys are not tameable uh, as, as far as I can see right now. But if there's anything that might be one step above the Origin Rex, it's probably going to be the Origin Wyvern, you guys. I'm kind of thinking about going home, seeing how much bloods we have, seeing if we could, you know, summon this thing in, and then maybe start adventuring around to try and find artifacts. Especially because I did read you guys' comments, and yeah, there actually is an Aberration Cave only a million damage. <laughs> There actually is that Aberration Cave that I mentioned uh, a few episodes or so by now, so yeah, that'd be really cool to go find that thing, and I assume that's where we could find any- Oh, whoa, a random Dodorex right there. I guess we can kill that guy. And... Oh, he literally just fell- What? He actually just fell through the world right there. Hold on. I wonder if the Apex Dodorex fell through the world as well, and that's why I didn't get anything from him. Maybe. Well, anyways, here's a big conglomerate of sauropods, and they've all exploded. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's one way to break up the party, golly! Man! Alright. Yeah, I, I, I'm definitely thinking about going home, you guys. Maybe just figuring out where these potential caves would be. Maybe just literally looking it up. Or something like that, you know? Let's see, what's this over here? Oh yeah, that's that, like, corrupted Dimorphodon. Alpha Dimorphodon or whatever. Yeah, he's dead now. <laughs> but yeah, we, we've got so much I can loot. I kind of want to just go home and just kind of settle down and just... See what all we got. Maybe even see if we... It, what, what would it take to even, like, repair the armor that we just... Oh, wait, no, it's all full uh, durability already. Yeah, let's not, let's not, let's not get it damaged, because that might make it a little bit more expensive to repair and upgrade and stuff, so let's put our old armor on, at least for right now. Oh, man, we got another uh, Dodorex skin, and a Vampire Eye skin right there. What's this one? Journeyman Primal Fabricated Sniper Rifle Blueprint right there. Did we get anything else, like, that's actually tangible? Seems like a lot of stuff we got were, like, just blueprints, so that sucks. Oh, there's that Apex Egg from earlier. What about in our, uh, Indominus' inventory? Yeah, a ton of blueprints here. Oh my gosh, that's like, it's so worthless. How much, uh, oh! Oh, that's Demonic Hide. Primal Hide. Where's the Apex Hide on this one? Let me see. 
I just want to see how much we got on this adventure. Five, oh yeah, 590 Apex Hide. Yeah, we, we should have enough to upgrade this guy's saddle. No problem, I'm sure. But yeah, let me just head home real quick, you guys, and we just kind of settle down from this weird adventure where I wasn't even planning on killing the Origin Rex right there, but we did. <laughs> we heckin' did. Oh, do you guys want to kill a Primal Megalodon real quick while we're in the area? Because I saw one looking over the cliff. I saw... Oh, what's that egg right there? Alpha Ankylosaurus, that might be an Alpha Egg right there. I, I guess we can grab it. Just because, hey, why not, right? So we can make a... Oh, oh, can I even... Oh, what in the world? <laughs> that was kind of weird right there. And stole that egg. Oh, get on. There we go, we're good. Is he going to come over here? Or she? <laughs> I, don't think, I, don't, I don't think she wants to come over here and attack me. You know, because I'm riding on a heckin' Apex Indominus. Golly. Oh, yeah, here we go, here we go. Oh, yeah, these guys have, like, what, 30 million health or something like that. I'm like, we don't have a scuba tank or whatever right now. So we still need to watch out and make sure I don't drown. But we do way more damage now, so that's good. We might be able to kill these these primal whatever's down here, Megalodons. We might actually be able to kill it. 30 million health. We're doing decently on uh, oxygen right now. Or were, for a second ago. 2 million damage per hit. This guy's 36 million heck in health. We might be able to kill this guy before I run out of oxygen real quick, you guys. Oh my gosh. We'll finally be able to kill the primal Megalodon, even though they seemed relatively friendly to us. They didn't seem to... Like, really be threatening. We took 5,000 damage right there. That is nothing. 1.8 million. One more hit and he's down. He's down. Primal Megalodon has been defeated. We just picked up a bunch of blueprints and stuff. Oh, another... Pro oh, yeah. It's the other Primal Megalodon. Yeah, that one has five, uh, 7 million health. 3 million health. And it's dead. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's just so insane how we're killing everything so easily right now. Oh, my gosh. Let's go up. Let's get some oxygen. Oh, I don't think I can get oxygen. I don't think I can get oxygen. I, I can't, like, physically get out. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're good. I couldn't, like, physically get out of the water like my actual character. I couldn't actually get out of the water and get oxygen right there. That sucked. Anyways. Whew. Delicious oxygen in my, in my lungs. Yeah, I guess we didn't need to make that scuba tank just yet. <laughs> Looks like we already killed the, uh, the primal megalodons while we're out here. But let's actually see. Can I find another primal megalodon that I kill real quick? Maybe. What's that one? Oh, toxic. Yeah, we can kill that guy instantly. Oh, he's already dead. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Where's another primal at? I am the king of the seas now. I'm not really like a spino or anything like that, but uh, I'll kill anything on land and I'll kill anything underwater, Ada. <laughs> Jeez, I don't know if there's anything that, like, in the water, like, period, that could kill us. Like, there's probably making it almost 5,000 damage per hit. Yeah, good luck eating through 9 million heckin' health and armor eating and stuff like that, right? Because we're about to upgrade that. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, let me, let, me, let me just head home real quick, guys, and we just settle down, see if we can upgrade the saddle. And uh, maybe even upgrade our armor, because it seems like some of our armor does need uh, repaired. So maybe we can see if we'd actually upgrade it as well. Maybe get it on par with the uh, the origin armor that we just picked up, wherever that is. So, oh god, kill oh yeah, we're killing like titanosaurs and stuff in like one. <laughs> Look at that guy jumping. We're killing these guys in like one hit because they have like two million health. We're doing two point one day a million damage now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Jeez! Can I like preview what's inside of a splat drop before it actually hits the ground? I can! Ooh, look at that! Uh, what's that? A pike that's blue? I forget what level that is. Oh god! <laughs> Seeing these guys contort their bodies when they die. I love that though. Every time I see it, it never gets old. Yeah, this might actually be worth waiting until it comes down to the ground. Dinosaur gateway, a pike. Yeah, usually those upgraded pikes and stuff give us a ton of metal when we put them in our uh, dodes inventories. Uh, chitin chest piece right there. Uh, was that journeyman? And then a kibble for a copy egg. I guess I'll wait like two minutes or whatever it's going to take for this guy to come down and uh, steal that stuff. But uh, for you guys, I'm going to see you guys at the base where we're going to just just settle down and just look through all the amazing loot that we picked up the past like episode or something like that. <laughs> so I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, guys, I am back home sweet home. Oh, my gosh. It has been a while. It feels like it's been a while since we've been home. Holy heck. Yeah, look at this guy. He does not fit here at all. Like, yeah, <laughs> I'm definitely going to consider making that, uh, that, 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 that force field thing. But we do need a way to, to power it, though. We don't have a tech generator, so that sucks. So might not be able to do that until we get the tech generator tech room unlocked, so that sucks. I want to see what's inside of that one. Eh, pack of rhinosaurus saddle. Eh, forget that. It feels like whatever the second one is. What was that, ramshackle or whatever? Eh, I might consider it. But for a baseline one like that, yeah, forget that. <laughs> At least for right now. Yeah, let's turn this guy around. And, uh, oh gosh, it is really 
hard to maneuver this guy in such a small space. I thought this was like a big area. And then we immediately got like the death worm and hatch the Indominus is in, and now this area is like tiny. I don't even get any comments from you guys saying, yeah, your, your area, you need to expand it out. <laughs> Anyways, let me get the, all the blueprints and stuff from here just so we can kind of clean out his inventory and get a better look at all the stuff. And we have, also have a bunch of raw meat inside there. I'll probably end up uh, like S plus pulling it into the, uh, the fridge over here. So that will be good. Uh, so let's go over here to raw meat. So there you go. Let's go to just raw. And then do raw fish meat. Yeah, Alpha and Dom is 3,400. Raw meat. Yeah, just pull all that. Uh, refrigerated trough. Don't want to pull that over, though. But almost 40,000 raw meat from the Apex and Dominus. Oh, my gosh. Even uh, 200 raw mutton right there, too. So we must have killed some Ovises. A uh, little bit of raw prime fish meat right there randomly. Uh, raw prime meat right there on the Indominus. So there you go. Grab that. And raw salt. Oh, we have a little bit of raw salt right there. I, mean, I don't know where we got that. <laughs> but hey, might as, well, uh, might as well use that to actually make some salt stuff. And, you know, make stuff not spoiled by us. Was it called uh, salt piles or whatever? Make stuff not spoiled by as fast in my inventory. But we haven't really had any uh, any problems with stuff spoiling. Oh, and by the way, I don't know if I mentioned this yet. I don't know if you guys noticed it either. But I, I replaced our old bookshelf with the S plus like metal bookshelf that has 600 slots. The old one had like 180 or something like that, maybe less, maybe 100. I don't know. But yeah, way less slots than what this one has. But I'm going to go to blueprint. I'm just going to. Throw all of them over there. 228 right there. Look at all that stuff. Oh my gosh. Now, what is the top thing again? Ascendant? Yeah, Ascendant. What all do we have that's Ascendant here? Oh, nothing. Okay. <laughs> what about uh, Mastercraft? Wait, what? Nothing? Oh, does it not even show it? Oh, yeah, I don't think it shows it whenever you uh, search the blueprint stuff there, but I'm pretty sure we've got something Ascendant. Yeah, like right there, we got an Ascendant blueprint right there. Uh, I don't know if there's... Oh, here's a sword that's Ascendant level. That's 600... Uh, 43% weapon damage. There's a Mastercraft thing right there. Yeah, there is a lot of stuff in here, you guys. Holy heck. I need to, like, go through this sometime and see if there's anything worth crafting. Uh, some more Origin Rex costumes I got just on the way here. Yeah, forget that trash. I don't need that garbage. Let me throw some stuff inside this guy's inventory. By the way, I went AFK with the game running, and, uh, that, that, oh god, yeah, 59 levels. And, uh, I completely forgot that that, that supply drop, I was waiting for that supply drop to drop, and I never got to it. It, it, it came and went, and I didn't even get the heck of loot wells inside, but so that sucks. I'm gonna give this guy a bunch of health, just cause hey, why not? And then, uh, let's see. I, I, I need to make sure I do not put the origin stuff in this guy's inventory, so... I guess I'll put it up over here in the upgrade station. Just for curiosity's sake, what would it take to upgrade this? Wait, whoa, what in the world? Broken pieces of origin armor? Huh. Wait, how do I do- how do I get that? The region 9 broken pieces of origin armor. 701 broke it, so if I... So if this loses durability... Wait, I guess... I don't think it does lose durability. Hold on. I never read this, did I? Flack infused with orange and blood that provides heavy physical protection. This armor appears to magically protect against heat and cold. Ooh, that's real... Oh, yeah, whoa! I never even noticed. Yeah, hypothermic and hyperthermic insulation. Like, almost a thousand on each one right there. Over a thousand hyperthermic insulation. So if we come across, like, a desert or something like that, we're really good on that. And same thing in the uh, the winter area. I don't think we never really had to deal with that uh, anyways, because we had pretty good hypo and hyperthermic insulation anyways. Uh, even though we even have a pretty good fortitude down there as well. And I think that uh, protects us from hypo and hyperthermic insulation, like, situations. <laughs> so I don't think we had to worry about that, but oh my gosh. I guess if anything, we could probably put this in, the, uh, in this thing over here. Upgrade specifically the armor. So let's do, let's like, let's make like 15 of those just because I always make 15. <laughs> And let's let's put these over here. So, one thousand or ten thousand four hundred fifty-four armor rating on the chest piece. Oh, oh, never mind. It's already as uh, high as it, it already hit the ceiling for Mastercraft level right there. So that sucks. So what about the Journeyman one? Oh, same thing right there. I can't even make. I I guess they're like baseline, like already over above their limit right there. So that sucks. It sucks, but at the same time, it's it's good. <laughs> so that that's kind of weird. Anyways, uh, what about like uh, where would I make like a? What are they called again? Not Mastercraft. Origin? Yeah, well, the only things we can make that are Origin, other than the summoning things, are this Origin Infused Toxic Narcotic, which I, I looked at my footage that we just saw, and I unlocked the Tecrim, or, uh, Angrim for this thing, as well as the Angrim for this thing. Now, what is this, though? Toxic uh, Narcotic Infused with the Blood of a Legendary Origin Dino. So I can actually make this. I only have one Origin Blood, so we can make one of these. Has to be crafted at a Primal Smithy. The multiplier of this narcotic is a mystery. This is best used in crafting the recently discovered Origin Narcotic Bullet. Oh, okay, so it, it's just for the bullet then. 
I guess you don't want to actually just use this on its own, I guess. It will apparently also drain the food of any creature it's used on. So similar to sedative narcotics, sedatives, even the, what is it called on this one? The, the, the green one, the ghrelin. Similar to all that stuff, it seems like this is one of those, but this is like extreme endgame sort of things, which makes sense. Something like that is pretty good. And this one seems like it's just the same, but like you combine it with a bullet and then you can just shoot at something and then it like it immediately knocks it out and drains its hunger. I assume that's just what it is right there. So if you guys want to read that real quick and confirm or deny if that's actually the case, but I'm pretty sure that's, that's got to be what it's about. But I guess I'll just wear the armor then because I can't improve it anymore. I don't. It doesn't have a durability, does it? Armor 9000. Yeah, it doesn't have any durability at all. It just has armor rating, weight, hypo, and hyperthermic insulation. So, I guess we don't have to worry about ever repairing this, which is great, because I, I can't imagine what we need to repair it. <laughs> whatever those origin broken armor pieces are, or whatever that we just read about just a moment ago that we need to even upgrade it with. <laughs> I don't even know how to obtain those, unless we, like, maybe in an alternate universe or something like that. What if we put that in a grinder? And then that's probably what we get out of these. Because you don't need anything to repair it. So it, it we have no idea like what it needs to craft. You, you can't craft it. You, don't, you only get it from drops, it seems. From killing origin type creatures. Oh, and speaking of such. What kinds of blood do we have? Oh, what in the world? I didn't put in the raw meat stuff. There you go. Let me just put that all in the raw meat stuff right there. Oh, well, the fridge is almost full. 286 out of 300. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Well, that sucks. Anyways, yeah, let's go to blood. There you go, right there. So, what was it? It was like 200. It was like, not 200, geez. It was a uh, origin. It was like 20, 20 of each blood, basically. Alpha, apex, fabled, primal, toxic. Alpha, apex, primal, fabled, and toxic. So, alpha, yeah, we've got that covered. Fabled, apex, there's primal. There's apex. Toxic, yeah, we've got, we, we could do it right now, you guys. Remember, the only thing we're missing right now, and we probably have some blood in our inventory we can transfer over, so... Uh, yep. Oh, and even origin blood right there, too. <laughs> but yeah, the only thing we're missing right now are the artifacts, which I also looked it up in, you know, time for me coming over here. Uh, come from over there all the way to the base. There are 10 artifacts here on Val Valguera, so that's going to be quite the adventure up ahead of you guys. And I believe one of them is actually relatively nearby at that wyvern trench. There's like a, apparently a cave entrance over there, or two cave entrances over there. So it might be worth finally going over there, maybe while we're in the area, seeing if we can find a really good, like, Heckin' Celestial Wyvern Egg or something crazy. <laughs> that might be the only thing to top our heckin' Apex and Dominus, you guys. A heckin' Celestial Wyvern or something crazy. Because I, I have gotten comments from you guys saying, hey, Tampa Celestial, so definitely want to do that here in the future if possible, right? Golly.